Hey there crew, how's it going? We're going to be setting up our week inside of our bullet journal for this week. Really looking forward to having some fun today with some inks. A quick overview of last week. So overall, very cool week. We used the Distress Oxide and some stencils to create this really quick weekly, as you saw. If you didn't, definitely check out the weekly plan with me as we go through and set everything up inside of here. Used all of this space for rapid logging. I also used ink in a fountain pen this week. So use this fountain pen. And as you can probably see all around here, little marky fingerprints and uh, I'm all kind of inky. So I don't know that I'll be going with the fountain pen again this week. There is a little bit of mess that was going on. I definitely loved using this. I love the color, everything about it. But I think we need to just take a little bit of a break. We are going to use ink today, though, for our headers. I just got my order in from Ferris Wheel Press. This was a part of their New York collection. This is Grand Central Skies. When I tell you this collection was so amazing, this is Grand Central Skies right here that we're going to use for our headers. Loved using this. You can use a discount code MWB that'll get you 10% off the Ferris Wheel Press items. It's just so cool. And I also have a cool item I'm going to introduce to you in just a little bit from Ferris Wheel Press. It'll be coming out later on this month, or I guess really technically the beginning of March, March 3rd, as a matter of fact. Let's go ahead and just talk about what we're going to do for our weekly overview, though. What we're going to do is use the grids that are already on this page to go ahead and split our page into half vertically. And then I'm going to split it into thirds horizontally. And then that'll go ahead and give us all of the spaces we need for this entire week and then we'll set up the right hand side of our page just for rapid logging to create a little bit of extra excitement i'm going to be using these really cool eric small things or hello small things these are from a collaboration between kitta and eric small things and what's cool about kitta is they have these little tabs but they're fully sticky so all you have to do is kind of peel them off like you would a sticky note but it's like a full sticker and we're going to be using these for our headers and then we'll be using a G nib from Zebra today. It's a very fancy nib along with our Ferris wheel press ink for our headers. So that's how we're going to roll today. I'll be honest with you. This past week here at home has been absolutely insane. We started a remodel here on our home and it's just been all kinds of a mess. It's, it's like during the day, it's just loud. <laughs> it's so loud as they're tearing everything down. Hopefully this upcoming week will be a lot better. Um, but because we had to kind of really kind of resituate our lives. My studio is now also shared as like our living space for the next few months. So it's been a full family affair down here. I haven't been feeling super motivated to make like even more videos or anything like that. Not because I don't want to. It's just like with so much other stuff going on, I kind of feel like, you know what, it's okay to take a little bit of a break. But we're still going to keep these videos going. Um, you know, I'm setting up my bullet journals no matter what. You know, they're always going to be here and I'm always going to be creating inside of them. Just some of that other video stuff where I'm like, hey, do I need to really work on that today? Or do you think, you know, I can give it a little bit of give it a little bit of time in between. But excited. I'm still doing a lot of idea generation. That's really important, right? So once I kind of get my space back a little bit more, I have some more uh, alone time, free time. It'll work out much better and I can record something quickly and have everything ready to go. For each of the days of the week, I'm going to have to kind of think about it a little bit. Um, you know, for the most part, all of them kind of work. It's like a nice little like, collection, but at the same time, it's also like not a full collection. You know, it's just Eric small things. So the designs all work together. So I'll be setting up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then the weekend. So actually one of these stickers uh, has says good morning on it and kind of has a whole little breakfast deal going on. I wish I could just say that was for the weekends, but honestly, making breakfast every single day. The girls still get a hot breakfast, even though I have a little basement kitchen going on over here. All right, so we've got some other fun ones. Nice day, things to do. We'll use that one over here. Um, this is my favorite things in Sketch. This just says, hello. Making sure I'm not duplicating anything. I've got plenty of these on here, so I can uh, kind of make them stretch. And we've got some fun stationary ones over here, so we'll use this. Actually, let's do this. Let's do like, does it really matter? I don't think it really matters. I was going to say, even if I do every other, uh, it's still going to kind of work out. So let's do this. And then I need one more. What do I want to use? Maybe like a thank you for everything. Nice day. For a Friday, you know, like a little appreciation at the end of the week. Now that we have these, let's go ahead and stick them onto the page and then we'll go ahead in with our ink and add our days of the week and dates and then a header over here for our note section. These stickers are pretty neat because they are kind of like a mix of a sticker, but also a little bit like washi. So they are repositionable. So if you make a mistake, you don't have to worry about never getting it back.
All right, now it's time for the ink. So I'm excited for this part. So as I mentioned, Ferris Well Press, I've been a huge fan of theirs for a long time and then recently um, started getting into a really cool affiliate program along with them. So this program uh, gives me this great opportunity both to check out the inks ahead of time, also to introduce them to you. And then it also gives me the opportunity to give you a special discount code. So you can actually get 10% off any of the items from ferriswillpress.com using my discount code MWB. So just put that in at the end and you'll be good to go. So what I got here, this is from the New York, New York collection. This is Grand Central Skies. This is, first of all, very cool packaging. This is a beautiful teal color. And it is also has the, the silver inside of it too. So as you're writing with it, you're getting this beautiful mix of this teal ink, but then also like a slight little shimmer that's inside of there. So I wouldn't say it's glittery. Um, it's not like extra glitter, but it is definitely like a nice little shimmer, I guess I would say. And I love really love watching the ink just kind of flow around inside of here. Now to put in the days of the week, what I'm doing is I'm using this G nib. So this is just a super, very nice fine point nib from Zebra. Um, a lot of times people use this for comic drawing and things. So you need some very nice fine points, but if you are into lettering or hand lettering, you're going to get just beautiful strokes along with this. So I'm going to be using this. Uh, one of the cool things that's coming out later on in, well, this month, but I say really it's the beginning of March is this amazing, aluminum ferris wheel press this is a ink carriage so i'll actually be able to put my ink on here it'll keep it nice and safe which i always get nervous about like knocking the ink while it's on here and what's really cool is that you can actually angle your ink in here so almost have this ink well that you can dip into and work as you're using so this will be coming out beginning of march like i said same discount code as i mentioned before that you can use and you can pre-order these too in the coming week. So definitely keep your eyes out on that and uh, get that discount and have some fun as well. So let's go ahead, we'll put in the days of the week and the dates, then we'll move over to notes and then we'll be done with the rest of this week. All right, so we have our entire week here. So Monday through the weekend, we have our daily logs that are gonna be set up over here and probably go into the following days. The only thing I need to put on here extra, it's a very special day on the 23rd, because it's my birthday. Setups don't have to be crazy, but I'm excited to be able to use more of my ink. I absolutely love all of these different colors. I've got some other ones which I can't wait to show you. I think I'm gonna do like a full review in the coming weeks just to really show you all of these Ferris Will Press inks. Don't forget, you can use my discount code MWB to get 10% off of your orders. And as I mentioned, this will be something that you'll be able to pre-order if you're looking for a really cool ink carriage. And then there's also going to be uh, two other inks that are going to be coming out in the very near future. One of them is going to be Fluttering Heart. So it's going to be this color here. So like a blush with those like the champagne shimmer to it. And then my new favorite, I'm going to be using this all the time in the near future. Cloak and Forest is the name of this one. Um, and this is going to have green ink. It's going to have a bit of a red overlay and then like a silver shimmer inside of there again. These are just really beautiful inks and I absolutely love this. So that's going to be everything for this week. So hopefully you have a great one. I know I'll be enjoying mine, especially with my birthday coming up and celebrating as well. As always, thank you so much for hanging out and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>